Yo, what's up guys? I am back at the West Ham Stadium to watch West Ham versus Crystal Palace. If we win today, we go four points above Tottenham after their humiliation against Brighton. And if I'm hot and if I look hot and sweaty already, it's because I've been in London all day already. So see you inside. Look at this. So empty. Uh, the stadium's empty, but then like the bar down there is like, mad. Oh, look, there's the, some of the players coming out. But that's Palace, so.
game the game was absolutely crap. Both teams didn't really play well. The referee was appalling. I mean, he claimed that Haller was diving after getting pulled down to the ground three times in the space of like two minutes or whatever. And I mean, the offside goal was correct, but VAR needs to be more clearer and like the offside rule should be more like in, it is in the MLS, like so it's clear that it's offside. And I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Personally, I think Roberto was quite good, seeing as he has been in his games, we've not won at all, but he's been quite good this game, but pretty much he was our, he was our only good-ish player, apart from Haller, and Fredericks was alright as well, but they gave man of the match, or king of the match, whatever it's called it nowadays, to Aaron, no, not Aaron Wan-Bissaka, uh, Patrick Van Arnholt, which, personally, I don't think he kind of deserved it, because he pretty much only scored a goal, and that's it. And I would have personally given it to Carry Cahill, because he basically controlled Crystal Palace. He was their best player, and... He just stopped so many of our attacks. Fredericks and Yarmolenko. Yarmolenko didn't do as well as he has in the past couple of games. He didn't take on many players. Same with Lanzini and Anderson. Fredericks didn't exploit his pace enough. I've got my programme here. Right here. Got Mark Nope on the front. Got this hammer thing right there, and the teams on the back. It's got all the usual stuff inside, anyway. So, they didn't sell the car today that I've been collecting for the past season, and that. Well, I didn't see it anyway. I mean, maybe, maybe not. And at least we didn't get thumped by Brighton, unlike Tottenham. But I kind of feel bad for Lloris because he's broken his arm. His elbow was like, it was like that on the ground, but the other way, like that, kind of. And it looked really painful. So, he's going to probably be out for the season. I'm happy to know that Fabianski is going to be returning in January. <clears throat> So you have to trust Roberto, you have to get right behind him for the Premier League until January. Then Fabianski will probably return. Jack Wilshere came on as a sub. He We got a chance through him. He somehow dummied it, not make the defender slim dummy. That made no sense, but you can probably picture it in your mind so the pass came to him he dummied it went through the defender's legs and then he ran around a defender and then sprinted through and then passed it and then squared it to Haller even though he could have shot but he squared it to Haller and then Haller shot and it and the keeper saved it but in my opinion Wilshire should have shot because it would have been it would have been a great goal anyway but the offside, as I said before, correct. The handball, I don't know what's happened to face protection. <clears throat> like, his hand was up here to protect his face. But whoever invented this bloody rule to have your hands by your side like this for a cross and, like, instead of it hitting your face, like, then bloody dead retarded like really we should have had a pen away about four times I mean Gary Cahill and Martin Kelly absolutely <clears throat> I don't know what to say but they were all over Haller like 
scrambling, hugging him and everything and putting him to the ground but the referee who's bloody should be sacked in the morning oh, hey. um, he he's just blind you know that is absolutely appalling it was, hang on who's the referee let me just check Michael Oliver, the one who's usually crap anyway, so. I just don't really know what to say about the game. I mean, at least we're still above Tottenham, that's alright. And then. Bloody Palace and Burnley are above us. Bl bloody Burnley! I mean, they did well against Everton, but. That's because. Jeff Hendricks is, well, actually, I don't know, but Seamus Coleman got sent off anyway. That's probably why. But I swear every referee hates West Ham. Because, like, they give so many fouls against West Ham when, like, some of them are dives, blatant dives. And that's what Crystal Palace did today. Well, not all Crystal Palace, pretty much just like Zaha, and that's it. Because Zaha, Crystal Palace didn't even come here to win the game. They came here to spoil the game, or well, the midfield and above anyway. Not the defence, because they actually played well, but they came here to spoil the game, to dive, to dive to win penalties to foul people to foul our players uh, if we bloody tap Crystal Palace on the toe or something the referee's going to give a free kick and then Crystal Palace bloody hack us in arse like slice our players in half then we get bloody nothing but that's probably just because Michael Oliver's the referee anyway, so. I just don't really know what to say about the game, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.